More news now. Nepal was hit by another powerful earthquake today. At least 50 people killed. And that's adding to the tragedy after a huge quake killed thousands of people two weeks ago. Yona Gavino talked to a Fond du Lac man who was there when the first quake hit. Yona, unbelievable. It certainly is, Carol. Andy Land is a hospice nurse, and he was on his way up to Mount Everest when the earthquake hit. Now, the whole point of his journey was to raise awareness about end-of-life care here in Wisconsin, but now he's sharing his own story of survival. Andy Land's dream to conquer Everest descended into a nightmare he won't soon forget. He and his team were resting in tents, exhausted after a long climb. By the time we got to Camp One, it was a whiteout. Now, this is on the middle of a glacier. There are crevasses all over everywhere. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to run. There's, you couldn't run anyway. It's 20,000 feet. He heard thunder and felt the ground rumble. He says avalanches were coming down from all sides. He immediately knew an earthquake hit. It's the most terrifying moment because you're basically sitting in your tent waiting to find out if you're going to die. Luckily, everyone with him was okay. Down at base camp, a much different story. Base camp medical service was wiped out. There was a doctor killed. Uh, so my expedition really had to become the ground zero for treating all of the injured and dealing with the fatalities. Many of the injured were already evacuated, but the team stopped at other villages to try to help. It was an unforgettable six weeks in Nepal. With his feet firmly planted on his lawn in Fond du Lac, Andy says he's not ready to return. Still. Obviously, I'm really happy to be alive. And Andy got about a third of the way up to Mount Everest, but didn't quite make it to the summit. He tells me the pull is still there to one day climb to the top. Mike and Carol. Mm -hmm. He is very lucky. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shiona.